it is really good to see that there is a strong realization among the community and the industry that if you want to have a business value from your ai setup you need to have rag retrieval augmented generation is the key application in order to get business value out of all of these llms and your data sources that is why rag is one of the most active areas of research and it is really good to see apple coming up with this a new framework called as superposition prompting this is the topic of this video and if you don't know what rag is at a very high level in simple words rag means to provide llm your own data so that the responses of the llm will be grounded in your own data or in other words if you want to glean or extract intelligence out of your own company's data personal data you need to provide it as a context to llm now the thing is that rag has really become one of the fascinating application of transformer based llms in the last one year in this setting the llm can ground its responses in auxiliary relevant context often the retrieved documents contain long form text leading to a lot of downsides which include hallucinations in fact uh, incorrect responses or uh, simply uh, ineffective uh, augmentation that is where this research comes very handy from apple which proposes superposition prompting superposition prompting um is sort of a framework to improve and accelerate retrieval augmented generation so much so that it can improve the rag accuracy by 43% which is quite a significant improvement superposition prompting is demonstrated to simultaneously improve model accuracy and compute time efficiency for rag based question answering tasks with out any additional training for fine tuning and that is simply amazing in my humble opinion if you look at this diagram this actually explains it in quite detail now this is a comparison of superposition prompting versus a classical prompting paradigm in this diagram the squares represent a token and arrows show attention dependencies whereas a classical approach is a linked list style direct acyclical graph or dag superposition prompting arranges token dependencies such that all documents are processed independently due to this dependency structure they can easily leverage the llm logits which are the raw outputs of llm to prune irrelevant context improving long context reasoning the dependency structure also allows for faster prompt processing due to the new opportunities for caching and parallelism of kv cache and logit computations each gray box represent logically a batch that is processed by the llm reusing upstream kv caches so all in all this paper really looks very promising especially when it comes to the benefit of this method on question answering data set because they have also provided extensive experimental evidence in the paper and ablation studies to give more confidence to their design decision they have also proposed additional practical optimization to accelerate inference by pruning caching and parallelizing the compute of prompt paths these optimizations are made possible due to the topological structure of their superposition prompts so if you are looking to improve your rag accuracy maybe have a read through this publication they have also given us a github repo where you can check out uh, more detail about implementation for example if you just want to re repeat it you can simply run these flows with lot of configs and configs are these where you can do attention sort you can do baseline flattening different sort of um, rag frameworks and configurations which you can test out maybe you can replace it with your own data if you want to check for example lost in the middle for the long context from that sort of thing so the main benefits uh, in my opinion for this are smaller context size is always good idea uh, if you are using superposition prompting it is um, less computational it uh, also allows you to prune computation of less relevant documents it is faster and then you can compute more documents with it 
so not only this discusses this but it also shows you how to process the retrieved documents in parallel and then attend to each one separately when answering the query and that is the whole idea behind it another uh, thing which it describes is that mostly llms suffer from something called as distraction phenomena this problem occurs when there is irrelevant context in the prompt instead of just ignoring the context the llm gets distracted and in case of retrieval augmented generation it is a standard case that context is among the result that is not helpful for the model to accomplish its task the density of relevant information is key now i already have gone through few other papers which are similar and i believe that uh, there was another paper called as fusion in decoder which was similar sort of case there but i think that uh, the main difference between fusion in decoder and this one is that the fid they don't do this parallel processing of individual retrieved documents without fine tuning that is my take on it but anyway really good to see apple coming up uh, with these papers hopefully they will also release some sort of tool uh, soon so that we could also install it and use it on our own documents easily that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching